Just look at those bandwidth numbers when you play a video stream in Azure Virtual Desktop. So today, I'm gonna help you fix that. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. Let me introduce you to the latest feature in Azure Virtual Desktop, Multimedia Redirection. You see, the two biggest use cases that can help you save money in Azure Virtual Desktop are Teams, when you're doing your audio and video calling, and streaming videos. So let's start saving some money with this new feature, and we'll get to Teams in just a minute. Now here's a video off the Azure Academy YouTube channel, and you can see that uh, performance isn't so hot and the picture doesn't look so great. And the reason for all of this is because as the video stream plays in Azure Virtual Desktop, it actually has to encode and decode in the browser and then send that back over the wire and then encode and decode again on your client. And that's what kills all of your performance, which you can see here in the task manager, the CPU's pegged pretty much at 100%. And this is the problem that our multimedia redirection is going to help us fix. So the directions that we're gonna follow today are linked in the video description, and they go out, of course, to the Azure Virtual Desktop documentation so that you can check those out later. Now, as of today, the multimedia redirection feature is in preview, so this is only going to work on your Windows client and that client needs to be at least version 1.2.2222 or later. So go ahead and sign into your AVD session, which I'll do with the user Cyborg, and then you're gonna wanna go to this link, and that's going to download and install an MSI file, which is going to have the multimedia redirection service. Now this will require admin permissions and it'll just take a minute to install. Part of this is also going to set up your browser extension for Edge, but if that has a problem or you're using another browser like Chrome, the links for those extensions are in the documentation so that you can go and download them directly. And that'll just take you out here to the Edge and Chrome extension stores. And we're actually gonna install the Chrome extension manually since it's not gonna happen through the service. And if you've never installed an extension before, it's just usually one click and you're done. And now up in the browser, you can see the icon for AVD, letting us know that the extension is ready to roll. Now, the next thing we're gonna need to do is add a registry key. And this is not in our virtual desktop session host. This is on your local client computers. So open your registry and you wanna to go to HKey Local Machine Software Microsoft MSRDC and then in there you'll have a policies folder. And here we wanna add a new string value and that will be called release ring with no spaces and the value for that will be the word insider. Then go ahead and close your registry. Now what I want you to do is close any AVD sessions that you currently have running, and then go ahead and shut off your AVD client, and then turn it back on. You may get a client update. If so, install it. Now, by default, during the preview, YouTube is specifically not enabled. But no worries, we can fix this by editing our Edge group policy or if you're using Chrome, the Chrome group policies. Now, for those of you who need to download the group policies for Edge, which I have linked in the video description down below, just go ahead and select whichever policy you want. I'll take Windows 64-bit, click the accept and download, and then that'll give you a cab file. Go ahead and unzip all of the files in there until you get down to the ADMX folder. Then you're gonna to wanna to copy that into where you have the rest of your group policies. And then we can go to our group policy management console. Go ahead and create a new policy for Edge. Then go ahead and edit the policy. Go to your computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, and under there, you should see Microsoft Edge. Inside there, go to the extensions folder, and then you wanna edit the configure extension management settings. Go ahead and set that to enabled, and now we have to put something in this field, which you will find over here in the AVD documentation. And if you happen to be using Chrome, that's just a little further down the page. Go ahead and copy that section and then go back to group policies, drop it right in there and hit OK. And now your session hosts are gonna need to get their policy update and you've got basically three choices. 
You can either do a GP update force, or you can reboot them all, or you can just wait and it'll happen automatically eventually. Either way, once you're done, you can do a GP result and there's my edge policy, and you can double check the value if you look at the resultant set of policy by typing RSOP. And it looks like we're good to go. So we'll go back to the Azure Academy YouTube channel and play our video in full screen. And it looks good, it sounds good, and we check our CPU in the task manager. We are nowhere near hitting 100%, and we've got a green check mark in the browser extension letting us know that everything is working just fine. Now before we go, let's take one minute and talk about Teams. And this was actually solved a long time ago with Teams AV redirection, which is the same basic principle as our multimedia redirection. So I don't know for sure, for those of you who use Zoom and WebEx and the other features like that, if the multimedia redirection will improve your performance like Teams AV redirection does. So go ahead and try that and give me some comments down below. Now I've got another link in the video description that's going to run a PowerShell script. And this script will actually do everything for you and set up Teams with AV redirection. And this is actually part of a script that I helped to write for the Azure Image Builder. So any of you using AIB are already using this script, you're welcome. And that'll just take a quick minute or two to install and then have your host reboot so that all the components can be online. And when you log back in, open up Teams and then go to the About and then at the top here, you will see that WVD optimizations have been enabled. That's how you know that AV redirection is working for Teams. Now, if you wanna dive deeper on AV redirection for Teams, I did a video on this a little while ago when the feature first came out, which you can see right over here. Or if you want to watch something else, there's the latest video at the Azure Academy. Either way, I'll see you in the next one. Happy learning.